Welcome back. Today I'm going to make a video on updating the firmware on the evacuation amplifiers um, to include the custom lockdown tone. I've had a few people ask me how to do it, so today I thought I'd provide a tutorial. So first off, you're going to need a FISP programmer. Um, these can be obtained either from Petronix or 4D Electronics. And this is going to have the firmware loaded onto it. And then once we plug it into the amplifier, it will automatically upload the firmware. And we should get a solid orange light. Okay, next we open the FISP software. And here we go. We need to open a project. So project, open project. And this one here. And we also need the flash file, which should be in a hex format. We want this one. So this is the standard firmware. This is the custom firmware that includes the lockdown tone. Okay, with those loaded in, we can now send that information over to the programmer. So now it's transferring. You can see the orange light is flashing. And once this completes very shortly, the orange light should turn solid green. Perfect. Now it's green and all that has to happen now is you plug it into the amplifier and it will automatically upload the firmware. Um, just for reference, I will show you what it sounds like before. So there's two um, tones that it's overriding. It's going to override the alert tone with voice and it's going to override tone nine, which is the Claxton. So if we play tone four right now, let me just set this amplifier to all zeros. Zero, zero, and zero. Put it into engineering mode and go to tone two. You should be able to hear, let me just plug this in. At the moment, it is playing the alert tone. Okay. Warning. Let's remove Fire it from engineering mode. Operation. Stand by for further instruction. Okay, it's out of engineering mode. Now let's plug the programmer in. And once we've finished, that tone should now become the lockdown tone. Can be a bit tricky to get it in there. There we go. It is now writing the firmware does take a little while to write in maybe I'd say about a minute or two there we go it's completed now we can unplug the programmer and if we load up that same tone you should now see that it's a different tone so we'll go into engineering mode and write and this should now be the custom lockdown tone This is a lockdown. Please lock all doors and stay away from doors and windows. And there we have it. Now the amplifier is running the custom firmware with the lockdown tone. I hope this helps some people and thanks for watching.